On this cardboard tube right here, I have the Mavos Plume, but not the version that you're thinking. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo De Vue. So, inside of this nice sleeve, I got the Plume, but you see the S in here? This is the spinning version. I will just take it out, because this is the fourth take I take of this unboxing and I'll just show you guys why I got this version so other than the nice sleeve you see that this rod has this nice white taper which is makes a little bit of a more sensitive rod also the connection it's very very good it's what I like to see it's a 40 ton construction blank made of carbon fiber as usual. This is the spinning version. They have, of course, the casting version. Very, very well loved from BFS folks. Both of them 1.8 meter or 6 foot. Both of them has a, had a cast weight from 0.6 to 8 grams. Both of them have Fuji guides. Both of them cost the same. So from 68 on the lower end when you get full blown promotions like anniversary uh 11 11 and they go usually at around 100 euros depending on the store that you get it from so i already told you this is a 40 ton carbon construction it both of them feature the monocoque design so it looks like the rod continues and then you have this minimalistic real seat so the line rating for this is two to six pounds and they both feature fuji guides so now we have the two reasons actually three reasons why i got this rod so first reason why i got this rod on the spinning version and not the casting version they both have seven guides and the white taper rod i already have it's the Ultima, also from Avlos, also featuring a white taper and around the same weight. Mine is just a bit shorter, it's the 1.68 meter, so 5.6, also around 70 something grams, but mine features 9 guides, so 2 more than this one. The other reason I got the spinning version, it's because even though I love Mifine to that as a brand, I wanted a faster action uh, low weight rod and this other than being very very competent uh, ultra light rod it also goes a little bit upper than most mifine rods so you get a bigger amplitude of casting weights and the other reason it's because it's very very light this rod it's 53.5 grams even lighter than the illusion slash which is pretty good if you get it on the casting version it will be 76 grams which is a bit higher so almost 20 grams more than the this version both of them will feature this 0.75 millimeter tip which is pretty low even for me fine i talk with them and they are probably working on the faster blank but do not rest your expectations there if you want a faster spinning rod uh, watch out for this one because i'll be doing uh, in water review soon just got something as the truck passes by nice and until then i will see you guys on my next video bye